Hi, Sabrina here with another tutorial for you and I'm going to show you how to make these boot warmers right here. And this is a pattern I just came up with. As you can see, I haven't even sewn on my buttons. I'm just going to show you where exactly the buttons go. This does open up and we're going to put the buttons right about there. So it can be adjusted if they want it tighter or smaller. You can do that if you want to on the top. And we're going to be using a basic stitch of double crochet half double crochet and we're going to be going with front posts and um, back loops for this project so these are the type of stitches you're going to be needing to use on this project here and as you can see it's very very beautiful um, when we're making this I made this inside out flipped it over and then put the front um, stitching on the top of here. So I'm going to show you exactly how to make this and it's so cute. I had someone show me a picture of something that's similar to this and they're like can you make this for me so this is an order for a friend of mine and I'm making it for her so I wanted to share with you guys on how to make these especially when the season is coming where we're going to be starting wearing boots with little leg warmers to go with them which is so cute. Now. I'm making a whole set for her so I will be showing you the whole set and how to make the whole tutorial on every single item that I make so look out for all the other cute little items that come with this. It's um, a crow and a beanie, a slouchy beanie that will be added to this. So look forward to that. The items we're going to be needing for this is a 5 millimeter hook which is an H hook, scissors, tampers needle, and yarn. The yarn I'm using here is a big old glob of it. Freaking, my kids got a hold of it. Um, I'm using a beige color, and this is brand yet. Oh yeah, brand yet. And it's the baby yarn. It's very soft, so it feels comfortable on like anything. And it was actually on sale at Walmart for four dollars. So if you live in the area of like I do in California, check out your Walmart. Maybe they'll be on sale too. Um, so this is the huge roll as you can see how big it is compared to my hand and I'm going to be probably using the whole roll I don't know how much yarn we're going to be needing for this project like I said it's freestyling um, but I only used a little bit to make the boot cu um, cuffing so let's get started here you're going to get your yarn here And we're going to start with the slip knot. Wrap the yarn over your fingers twice. Let me do that again. Did it backwards. I like to wrap it over my fingers twice, tuck it from behind, pull it over, then put my hook through and release off my hook. Just like so. Okay. So to get started, we're going to chain up 12. Wrap the yarn over your hook. Take this loop and put it through that loop, just like so. So that's a chain one. Do 12 chains. So now I did my chain of 12. I'm going to double crochet into the third chain. So the third chain from the hook. One, two, three. This is the third chain. I'm going to wrap the yarn over your hook. Go into the chain. Then you're going to wrap the yarn over your hook again. Pull that yarn through the chain. Wrap the yarn over your hook again. Then you're going to pull it through these first two. Wrap the yarn over. And go into the last two loops. Just like so. So that's a double crochet. Now we're going to double crochet all the way across. Wrap the yarn over, go into your next chain, wrap the yarn over, pull through, wrap the yarn over, pull through two, wrap the yarn over, pull through two. That's a double crochet. Now continue on putting double crochets all along the rest of the chain. I'm going to speed things up just a little bit here.
Okay, chain up two, one, two. We're going to turn our work around. And now what we're going to do is work in our back loops only. So we're going to be double crocheting in our back loops only. Okay, so you're going to wrap the yarn over your hook first. And let me show you where the um, back loops are. You flip it over this way, which you can see the top of the stitches. This is your front post, this is your back post. Well, not back post, but front loop, back loop. So what we're going to do is go into that back loop. You're going to go into the first one, which is attached to your chain right here. So you want to make sure you get that same one. And I'm going right into the back loop right there on the very first one, which is attached to the chain. You see that? Where the chain is attached. I'm going to do my double crochet. Now I'm going to double crochet into the next one, going into the back loop only. See how I just grab that back loop? Double crochet. And when you're doing that, as you can see, it's starting to lift up. And you're making these ridges right here. See that? So, wrap the yarn over, go into the back loop only. And we're just going all the way across, doing double crochets in the back loops only. See how that edge is coming up? Beautiful. My last one here. Chain up two. Turn your work around. And we're going to do the same thing we did on the last row. And we're going to continue that until we get to row 26. So you beginners, if you want to, not beginners, but experts out there, if you want to continue on, go ahead. So what we're going to do is you're going to double crochet in the back loop of your first chain your first stitch which is right here where the chain is at double crochet in the back loop only and we're going to continue double crocheting in each of the back loops all the way across and you're just going to continue that until you get to row 26 and we're on row 3 right now so still have a ways to go and all you're doing is you chain up turn around back loops only and you're doing that all through 21, 26 rows. Oh, sorry, not 26. 20! I'm thinking the other one that I did in half double crochet. Sorry to confuse you. 20 rows. So we're on row 3. 20 rows. 20, 20, 20. I'll make sure I type that in there so you guys remember that. <laughs> well, I'll write out the pattern. Put it on my blog. So you guys get the written pattern. So chain up two, turn your work around, double crochet in the back loop only of your first stitch attached to your same stitch as the chain two, just like so. Now we're going to double crochet in the back loops only and we're on row four. And I'm just working in the back loops only. Chain two. Turn it 
turn your work around go right back in double crochet in the back loop of your first stitch which is right here and double crochet in each of the back loops repeat this until you get to row 20 I'm going to do this row with you and then I'm going to turn off the camera continue on until I get to row 20 and then I'm going to show you how to do the bottom part of this so continue crocheting back loops only row 20 2 20 chain 2, turn your work around and I'll meet you there on row 20. Okay, so I've gone up to the 20th row as you can see here, it's pretty long. What we're going to do now is, once you get to the end here, move these scissors out of the way. Okay, now flip it over so it looks like this and you're bringing these two in. Okay. So this is the way it's going to be. You're going to overlap it now. So what I do is go two rows. See this is one row and this is the second row. So you're going to fold it right over to the second row and we're going to start um, half double crocheting all the way across. I'm going into both loops now. So what you're going to do is here is the first row, here's the second row. And you have to remember this is going to be the one side and so the other side has to be the same way so when you're doing it this is going to be the other side so it's going to be the opposite way so when they're side to side like this you can actually see that they go the same way the flaps so that's what you want so whatever you're doing on this side see how I went this way and overlapped it for the other side you're going to overlap it the opposite way so when they're two together just like when you're waking booties you want to have the straps on the other side so it looks even. So that's what I'm doing here. So when you work on your second one, make sure you're doing that. So I've gone up to the 20th row, and now we're going to be working on the side of the straps, um, the double crochets right here. So what you're going to do is half double crochet. So line it up over the second row. See, there's one and there's two. So this line right here, I'm going to start right at the very end right here so I'm putting this right over here I'm getting that I'm going right into my wrap the yarn over go right in there and half double crochet now I'm going to half double crochet all the way around so what you you did double crochets all the way through. So you want to make sure you're doing a double crochet, two <coughs> half double crochets in each double crochet. So I'm just going right into there and putting going all the way around half double crochet. I like to go right into the center right here, like in between the double crochets, the rows and then I go right into the row but there's uh, people that do it differently and stuff like that so whichever way you feel comfortable in doing it go ahead and do it so I'm going to continue half double crocheting all the way around here
Okay, so when you get to the end here, make sure you get that last one before you start connecting. Then you're going to go right into the very top. You see how I overlapped it? I'm putting this strap right over here. You're not going to start crocheting along this side. You want to leave that undone. Actually, I'm sorry. Hold on. When you get to here, you know, half double crochet into that. You see that? You have it overlapping, sorry, <laughs> overlapping, and you're going to go into both of them now. So what you're going to do is go into this one, and then you're going to go into the other one that's the little flap here on the bottom, and you're going to half double crochet. And you're going to do that all the way to the end, so. One more. Now what you're going to do is slip stitch on the top of your first half double crochet that you did, chain up one, and you're just going to half double crochet all the way around. You're going to do this for 12 rows. So this is row two. So we're going to keep on doing this half double crocheting all the way around, and I'm staggering my stitches. As you can see, I'm not going on the top, I'm going right in between. See, this is going right into the top. I'm going right in between all of it, getting all of it, staggering the stitches and half double crocheting all the way around. That way it stays clean. There's not going to be an extra line in the back of this. So if you go right into the top here, like I'm going to show you right now, I go right into the top. You're going to have this extra line on the bottom compared to these. So you want to make sure you're going staggering your stitches. See, this is the extra line right there. This one doesn't have it. It's nice and clean. So make sure you stagger. Get all three of those straps pieces just like so. So just work right in between the poses pretty much. Okay, I'm on my last one here. I'm going to slip stitch on the top to join. Oh, there we go. Then I'm going to chain up one and half double crochet around again. I'm going to continue this until I get to my 12th row. So I'm on round row 3. You continue with yours until you get to round 12. I'll meet you here with it row 12. Okay, so I'm finishing up round 12 and what I'm going to do is just slip stitch 
and we're going to chain up two. What we're going to do now is double crochet all the way around. Okay, I'm getting to the end here. What I'm going to do now is slip stitch on the top to join, chain up two, and now we're going to be working in our um, posts. We're going to do a double crochet front post. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to go right around the post just like so. The post is going to be up. You're going to wrap the yarn over your hook, pull through, wrap the yarn over, pull through two, Wrap the yarn over, pull through two. <coughs> Let me show you again. Wrap the yarn over, go into the next post. Wrap the yarn over, pull through, wrap the yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. So that's what we're going to be doing. And once you get to the end here, wrap the yarn over, go into the next post. Wrap the yarn over, pull through wrap the yarn over, pull through. It should look like this at the very end. See how that is? It's rippled in. That's what we want. So we're just going to be working all the way through each one of them going into the front post.
Now slip stitch on top of your chain two to join. And now we're going to chain up one and half double crochet all the way around. And we're going to do this working in the front loops. So it's a half double crochet all the way around working in the front loops. Front post, sorry. So as you can see, I'm wrapping around, going to the front post, pull through, wrap around, pull through all three. Just like so. They're starting to be loud. At least this video is almost finished. Okay, quiet. Shh. We're going to slip stitch to join, fasten off, and you sew in your ends. And we're done with this video here. 
add your buttons and make a second one and these are your leg warmers. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.